Preface A narrator's goal is to reproduce the script he or she has before them with complete fidelity, reading the words of an author as they were written. This applies to fiction and nonfiction alike. In taking on the task of narrating the audiobook you are about to hear, the report of the Senate Select Committee on Intelligence on Russian Active Measures Campaigns and Interference in the 2016 U.S. Election, Volume 5, the challenge was multifaceted. To begin with, the published report comprises 966 pages, many of which are completely redacted due to security concerns. Whether because certain names are protected, or whether certain information collection methods are protected. Many pages of the report contain some redacted material, often just a word or a name. In most cases where there are large sections of redacted material, I have endeavored to let you know where there are small redactions, a word or two, that do not affect the flow of the narrative and do not contain information critical to the meaning of the material being read, I have read the passages with as much fidelity to the committee's text as possible. It is important for me, as the narrator, to inform you, the listener, that I was once a staff member on a Senate committee and that I once served as an investigator on a Senate Special Investigations Unit. I was also a report writer and editor for a lengthy Senate report. Although I retired from government service many years ago, I have not forgotten how strenuous and important the work of congressional staff, particularly staff of high-profile and often highly secure committees, can be. All of us who have served or are serving as staff in Congress take an oath to protect and defend the Constitution. We take that oath seriously, and even though I am no longer a Senate staff member, I feel bound by that oath to continue to be as faithful to the work of my colleagues as I can. This report is consequential. It represents the efforts of dozens of men and women who will not get public credit for their hard work. I have endeavored to narrate their work with as much fidelity to the full report as possible, even though there are gaps that may frustrate the listener. With respect to the flow of the report, I have edited the material with the listener in mind. The actual report is written in outline form and it was my decision to create an audiobook that was easier on the ear than one that followed each and every subtitle and indented text. Finally, with respect to footnotes, it was, frankly, impossible to include all the report's footnotes into this audiobook. Many footnotes were fully or partially redacted, and the citations within the footnotes would not have helped a listener understand the text of the report due to the complexity of the citations. There were some footnotes, however, that did illuminate the main body of the text, and in those instances, I cite the footnotes as they are written. Thank you. Jim Moore